poems. I got to put some of my poems in the back of my book. Uh, the publisher, Harper, uh, was a little worried. That makes it a crossover book, Sister Simone. We don't know how to market it. I said, well, don't worry about it. We just, you know, it's, it's just my poems. It's like more of me. That's all right. And since, uh, uh, where, where is it? That, we're so, ah, in the back. That you were so bold to do your poem, I said, okay, I gotta do mine. <laughs> um, and this poem comes from, uh, I love being able to say this. In 2002, before we invaded, I went to Iraq on a small peace delegation. And we were in Baghdad and Basra, and it's a whole nother story. But driving back from Baghdad to Amman, uh, we got caught in a sandstorm. And in a sandstorm, it's like a whiteout, except you sneeze because the dust gets into the car. And, and the driver of our car had said, uh, he gave Rick, who was sitting in the front passenger seat, a roll of scotch tape. And he said that he had experienced the windshield imploding because the sand gets blown so hard it cracked the windshield. And I have no idea if scotch tape would stop a crack. But what he told us was if, if we saw a crack forming to put the scotch tape on the windshield. Well, now I will tell you that all eyes were riveted on the windshield because we did not want it imploding. So uh, that's how we got through it. And it was like dark and light and dark and light. It went on and on and on. And then, I don't know how long that went on actually, but then we got to like a 10 inch wide band of rain. And all of a sudden we were in desert clear. And in what we I later learned is that wild camels run towards the trailing edge of a sandstorm because they know that's where water is. Isn't that interesting? Yes. I had no idea. But anyway, so this is the poem that was given. Um, uh, um, anyway, and it goes like this. It's called Compassion's Path. And it's what I think we're called to, and I urge you to. We walk a sandstorm of impotence, isolated dread, the demons of our day. We walk a sandstorm of half-truths, lies of ochre, beige, tan, sepia confusion, pelted, buffeted by winds of war. We walk a sandstorm of drifting elusive truth, wandering ways, and blind following. We walk a sandstorm eroded by demanding doubt, overwhelmed by the horror swirling round, invading lungs and lives. We walk a sandstorm of promised grief, aching temptation to hunker down and hide until a more propitious time. But in this time of alluring weakness, in this time of fearful groaning, cold, blind logic, anger rising, remember the clear-eyed anchor of our resolve. Remember the eyes of Mayada, Sarah, Rita, Asan, Abdullah, Makbula, and many more. We may be blinded in the outward journey, but remember this inner core. May the eyes of family, terrors of family, set fire to our impotence, stoke our resolve, melt the cold stone of our hearts to yield to tears. For like rain, tears shed, clear the air. Like rain, tears shed, settle sandstorms. Like rain, tears shed, reveal the path. So let us weep. Let us embody healing tears. Let us be copious tears to settle our country's storm. Thank you very much.